Howdy, PKers! That might have been a little western for you guys. Oh well. Hey, PKers, how are you? Um, so today I'm doing a different unboxing than I normally do, but it's not always consistent among my unboxings. But I bought this not so much for you guys, even though I'm going to show it. It was more or less for personal use. But I'm going to show it anyways because maybe you guys want to um, use it, and it is kind of, it is rather affordable. I think I think I uh, I spent like thirty four eighty two. Actually, it was bet between my brother and I. We split the cost, but it was like thirty four eighty two. It's it, it literally says entry level personal printer on it. I can show it to you. It's not as heavy as my last one. See, that's what it, that's what it is right there. It's a Canon uh, Pixma MG twenty five twenty two. Oh wait, MG twenty five twenty two. That sounds familiar. Sounds like something that would be good for actual printing use. I mean, not not printing, printing, but like T-shirt printing. Weirdly enough, MG twenty five twenty two. Maybe. it is I, I could actually print some shirts off of this okay anyways I'll do the unboxing um, yeah it wasn't it wasn't fairly expensive sorry if you saw my armpit there uh, okay so this is the information it's um, UPC code and all that stuff it does include in the box a 243 and a 244. The 243 is black, as you can see there, and the 244 is color. Um, let's see here. The standard is 245 and 246. And the high capacity, if you're going to get it, is 245 XL and 246 XL. That's all on the box. So just remember that. In fact, I could probably post a link as to what it is, but I think I'm also going to be putting that as possibly the starting title. I want to say possibly because... Oh, it is recording. Okay. As possibly... Sorry, guys. I, I wasn't sure because it said video start pause on there. So, yeah as possibly the the starting title I'm not for sure what the starting title is yet because this one just kind of jumped on me so I, I, I kind of decided hey I'll make a YouTube video of it because it's a cheap printer it's it's affordable as I said it was I think it's a max of forty dollars in fact that's I'm almost positive it is should we pay for that? Forty dollars. Okay, so my brother confirms it. It was forty dollars. So it was twenty a piece split down the middle. So I mean, for forty dollars, you can get the Pix the the Canon Pixma MG twenty five twenty two. Mind you, we got it at Walmart. I don't think there was any sales or anything, so I think that was full price. But that's okay because you know, if you got 40 bucks to burn down for a printer, that's wonderful. And most people have $40. Maybe not to burn down, but that's totally up to you guys. If you need a printer, this one's affordable, it's cheap. And can Canon usually makes top-notch products, 
So it's good. So anyways, so I'm going to tell you right now what's inside here and show you what it is. And we need to get the printer for something else. Um, to print out something else. So it's not necessarily not going to be used. Obviously it will be used. But anyways, here's your massive instruction booklet. Tells you about everything you need to know and there's pictures for everything and um, tells you where to put everything and yeah, I already know this stuff. Like all this stuff. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, there's a plug in the back that it does look like it's pretty standard. Okay, so there's a plug in the back that you have to plug in. It's it's shaped like an eight. There's this tab right here towards the back that you got to open the thing up so the ink and toner can be um, a okay that you have to snap off. So that's oh wait no the tab towards the front sorry. So that can open up and then you have to snap off. So I'll be doing that. The there's little tabs on the bottom of the cartridges that you have to take off, which is standard to just about every cartridge out there. So you have to do that. Um the on off switch standard. I mean basically it tells you all the different stuff that's in there. But since I'm an IT technician person, this is no new thing to me. But I do read the instructions just in case there's something different in there. Because that's part of the process. It also looks like you have to install the software. So I may have to find... I think the software is just for wireless. Honestly. I think everything else can be done offline, but oh, and it uses the IJ setup, just like um, there was a Canon uh, fax machine that we had to do in college to set up a multifunctional printer, and they use the Canon.com/IJ setup as well. It's an online resource thing that you use to set up stuff. It's got different downloads and stuff for um, different files that, that you can have for your Canon printers. So that's, it's, it's a really good source. And I think that's their main website. Okay, so this right here is all your stuff. I'm going to try to show you guys without having stuff leak out. So we got the ink cartridge right here which is that's the color one right there that's 244 there should be a 243 in here that's this one that's upside down that's that one and then you got oh the one plug-in that's got the weird looking head to it I can actually unwrap this because I'm going to plug it in anyways. So. And I got plenty of these plugins. Like I said, I'm an IT technician. I do have plenty of these. I don't necessarily practice the technician part, but I do collect quite a few parts for printers and stuff like that. So I have a lot of these. This is a basic. It's it's a it's a basic plug-in cord for um, printers, and this is standard USB that plugs into the computer, gives you access and everything. That's why they have the the standard USB. So technically speaking, I probably would not have to install the software. I think that's just for wireless. 
But it's always good just in case. And this right here, like I said, if you look closely, it's got either an infinity or an hourglass shape or an eight racetrack shape. Kind of like this. Wait. There you go. Like an infinity or an or a racetrack shape. So that's good to have because it just plugs in the back and this is literally your power cord. So you don't have this, you gotta get it. Because your machine won't run without it. There's there's no way to get it to run without it unless you know how to splice cables or splice cords or find another cord that's the exact same thing. That would be preferatory, preferenced. That would be the preference, yeah. That's the word. But preferred, that's that's the word I was gonna use. But yeah, um, so basically if you lose a cable like that, you either get more cables from another printer that are exactly the same. Most printers have those the hourglass shaped things. As most printers nowadays come standard with that. Now I'm trying to get the printer out of the thing. Woo! I love it when they box these things up so tight. It takes 20 minutes to get them out because the company thinks that everybody should destroy themselves over a printer. Woo! Another major feat of science or of other stuff. This is a pretty decent sized printer actually. Wow, that's a nice one. Okay, so after all the different Okay. That was fun. After all the different stuff. Oh. We also have a small kit of things here. <clears throat> this is a troubleshooting slash installation slash setup CD-ROM depending on what, what you call it. Probably more setup than all the rest of the things that I said but you know if it helps you with the other stuff go for it. This is a manual for setup. Basically I think if I remember right with my last Canon thing this one setup should be a pretty much a breeze depending on how big the cannon is the setup can get into troubleshooting and get really really annoying and difficult but like i said it all depends upon everything that's why they have these setup manuals i probably won't use it because i like to try to figure things out and i'm stubborn like that but it's there if I need it for troubleshooting. Most of the time you just install the disk and you follow the on-screen prompts and they'll have wizards um, to guide you through the process so you can get to the end and then once you're there you click finish and voila that's it. Sometimes you have to install stuff from the canon.com slash IJ setup but that's only if there are additional files to be had. A lot of times it's just you you pop in the disk and then you follow the on-screen prompt and it should be done. And that right there is a limited warranty. Probably saying that I have one to two years 
for a warranty on this until it expires and, I, and if my cannon breaks, I can't replace it. Yay! But that's standard. So the cannon itself looks like ow that hurt that this right here okay so this is the thing I was talking about that's what keeps this inside there I have to pull this out and I have to pull this tape off so pop the tape off pop that out now I can use the cannon inside here should have one two two ink cartridges for that stuff, I do believe they're labeled. Mm, maybe not. Okay, well. Oh, okay. So inside here, there's instructions. I'll try to show you. See? Right there, it says. This is black, and this is color. See? So you can see the inside of there. So basically you go by what that says. The left side is black, the right is color. And then there's even a code in here that actually notes. See right there? PG-245, the CL-246, PG-243, and CL-244. Those are the inks you can actually use, and there's a scan code in there that I would imagine is either more information for the inks, where you can find, get for supplies, or some other information that's additional for Canon. That opens up that. So that's pretty cool. I think it's also, yes, it's also, oops, it's also a scanner, as you can see. Um, besides that, I don't think it does much more. So you can't, like, uh, call people on there or anything like that. It's not a fax machine. But, it's pretty cool. Yeah, pretty neat. So I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to have to log out of this and I'll have to say that you guys got to remember to subscribe. You can you can like this video if you want. You can comment down below if you want and make sure and I'll leave the instructions up here right up here right around there to uh Subscribe and, and make sure that you click the notification bell and then when there's a drop down list after that you click all to get all the future updates, all the notifications from me sent to your notifications on your YouTube. So you won't miss any of my videos. Just saying. You won't miss any of my videos. So knowing that I will catch all you dudes and dudettes on the flip side. See you later. Bye!